Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm coming back with another tutorial. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on color grading today. Um, if in case you didn't know what color grading is, it is the act of taking the footage you get directly off of your camera, bringing it into your NLE or compositor, and changing the colors and modifying the way the image looks to uh, fit your piece. Um, I do this a lot and it really helps you sell uh, effects, it helps you you know, sell the mood of your story and it's a lot. It, dramatically changes how your footage looks. And uh, just to show you some changes, uh, this is just the original footage I saw shot. And this was shot on the Canon 60D. And it's just shot like this. And you can see that. It's pretty boring. And I changed it to that. And as you can see, along with color grading, we also did some vignetting and we cleaned up the noise and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's get started. So before I get into the whole color grading process, I'm going to be using After Effects CS 5.5. Um, you can do this in Premiere or any NLE, but I prefer to use After Effects just because of the plugins I use. Um, it's a lot better, just for me. So, yeah. So, the first thing before you start color grading is you want to make sure you shoot your footage right. Now, most cameras, uh, like the Canon 60D and the Canon 7D, they all actually shoot with uh, this the standard picture style and most most of the any kind of camera not just these DSLRs uh, they all add contrast and they sharpen the image and it looks awful when you first get it so you want to set your picture style neutrally uh, on what camera you're on so just take the contrast saturation and sharpening all down in the manual settings and that will help you you have a lot more to work with because it'll keep all the detail in your image now of course, cameras like the Red Epic, they have HDRX, high dynamic range, and um, yeah, they have a huge amount of dynamic range, and of course, you'll have a lot to work with. But if you're just like me, and you're shooting on DSLRs, one thing I would recommend is actually getting the Cine Style Picture Style from Technicolor. It's great, and it really helps you bring all the detail possible in your images, and it looks awesome. It gives you all the detail, and it's really smooth, but it gives you a lot to work with. So that's that. So I'm using Magic Bolt's Colorista 2 to color grade, and they have a really cool video, actually. They always have really cool promotional videos, and... Uh, yeah, I really like them. But yeah, it's a really good color grading uh, plugin for After Effects. And uh, it's $299, so they have a free version, which is pretty good. But of course, this has a ton of stuff and stuff that I haven't really used yet. Like, I haven't used these. Uh, like, you can basically, it's a lot easier to specifically change the color of each part of your image in this. So yeah, um, I'll probably get into more advanced stuff about just specifically colorista later. But right now, I'm just going to be going over color grading in general. So always remember, no matter what uh, color grading plugin or software you use, like Apple Color, these principles should pretty much apply to everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and import the recent footage I just have, and I think it's right here. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this into a new composition, and as you can see, it's pretty boring, pretty bland, and this is what it looks like coming right off the Cine style picture style. And it looks really, it looks, it has a lot of detail, and I like this look. I mean, you can just leave it like this, but if you're just doing some sort of interview, but like, if you want, if you're making a short film, I would recommend color grading it. So let's go ahead, and first of all, you can see that there's a lot of noise, and I shot this at 6400 ISO, I believe, and there's still going to be some noise, just because DSLRs inherently have a lot of video noise but not as much as most consumer camcorders and even some professional camcorders like the Sony EX1 but they still have some noise and to color grade you want the best image possible so right now I'm going to apply Magic Bullets Dino or sorry Red Giants Denoiser 2 to my footage and that should effectively get rid of most of the noise so let's just play around with the settings and this is definitely not something you have to do but I just do it because it gives me a lot more to work with and makes the image look a lot smoother Okay, so that looks about right. So now that we have that, let's move on to the next step. So uh, as you can see, it's uh, looking good. So next step is to apply Colorista 2 to the footage. And I have free as well, but I'm going to use 2 for the purposes of this video. So as you can see, it doesn't do anything yet because you actually have to physically change how you want the video to look. Now filmically, just to get this 
to get the best possible image, what I would do, and this is the kind of a good process, is I would raise the detail in the shadows because that'll sort of mimic how much uh, how professional cameras shoot. So I'll kind of raise the details in the shadows, and what I mean by that is like the darkest areas of the video, more detail will be there. And since we use the cine style picture setting, hopefully, or uh, your equivalent, you'll be able to bring out detail. So now the shadows have a lot of detail in them. And now what I'm going to do is bring down the midtones basically to adjust contrast because contrasty images look good, but not overly contrasty. And then I'll just kind of adjust the way how blown out it is with the highlights. Eh, okay, that looks about right. So now if I just turn this effect on and off, but you can see we've actually done not a lot, but it kind of helps. So now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring down the midtones just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, not sure. Okay, just bring up the highlights so that way we can still see. Uh, shadows. Alright, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is bring down the saturation because really oversaturated images, in my opinion, don't look very good. And, you know, of course, none of this is set in stone. You can always apply whatever you want to your own video so that way you can get the look you're going for. But, you know, a lot of stylized action movies and any, really a lot of movies nowadays, unless you're doing like a comedy, they all have undersaturated images, and I like the look, so I'm not, you don't want to go too extreme because you're going to end up going a black and white image, but, or you don't want to go like this because then your person is going to look like they're on the Jersey Shore. So, too extreme or too much is not good. So, I think around 2, negative 8 looks about right, just because it kind of gives the impression that the it's pretty flat in the room, and he doesn't look too extreme. So now what I'm going to do is, just because I'm not going to get into this primary HSL stuff and secondary master because a lot of people don't have the same uh, options, but almost every single color grading software on the planet has shadows, mids, and highs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to take my shadows and I'm going to drag it over to a color that I like. Now, if you want the image to look happier, you want it to be a little more orange or red. If you want the image to look more like a war movie or maybe a little more depressing or serious, drag it down to the blues. So drag mine down to the blues. But of course, what I've noticed just over the years doing a lot of color grading is that you, if you bring it down to the blues, you also want some green in there. So let's just keep dragging that down. And I'm going to adjust how much it does to the image like that. And so we can see now, if we turn that on and off, pretty drastic change right? from a pretty crappy image to a pretty good image, I would say. And so now we have that. And I like that look. Um, you can, of course, kind of play with it. I want the highlights to be... I want my highlights... I like the way they're kind of orange because there's a lot of contrast from this back area over here. It's kind of green, and then in the highlights, it's orange. I like that, but you know, I can you I will, if you want to match your footage, let's just do the same thing. And as you can see, getting blue. Eh, okay. And I'll just how to bring that up. All right. So now it looks pretty good. Um, the midtones I'll also make a little bit blue. And uh, yeah, so that's one technique of doing it, just making one specific color and trying to match your footage to that. Now, one thing that I don't ever really do because I find these results are too extreme, but sometimes if you want a really stylized look, you can do this, is to take like, say, I'm, I'm going to undo this in a minute, but just take your shadows and bring it all the way up here like that. Not like that, but like that. And then drag your highlights or midtones all the way down here. And then you get like a really cool looking thing. So let's just undo that and that. Okay, now we're back to our original video. Okay, so now what we have is a pretty good looking image, but there's a couple things that are missing that I actually had in the final image. Uh, so, yeah. So, vignetting is something that photographers sometimes want to avoid. Like, when they use certain lenses, like, oh, well, the vignetting is on it is horrible and there's too much vignetting, but uh, a lot of people actually add it very subtly, and if you use it right, it can be very stylistic and look really cool. So, yeah, that's what I usually do. In fact, almost all of my videos have a slight vignette on them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to take this, uh, you can use Magic Bullet and Misfire because it comes with a pretty good vignette. But sometimes I think it looks kind of weird, like a little too extreme. And I'm just going to turn the intensity down. And so that looks pretty good. But you get these little rings on the outside. I really don't like that at all. It kind of ruins the image for me. 
So instead of using that plugin, you can you can just go ahead and make a new black solid in After Effects, and then just draw, take your circular shape tool or ellipse tool and just drag it, and then go down to your mask and then subtract it so that'll invert it essentially. Go to the feathering and change it all the way up to a thousand, a yeah, thousand, and then turn the opacity down to about thirty-five. And you have a pretty nice looking vignette, and uh, really cool, kind of pulls focus to the center of the actor, and then pulls away from the edges. Of course, either one's fine, or if you don't, if you're working in an NLE, and you happen to have any version of Photoshop, you can just go into Photoshop and make a um, black solid. Of course, I'm not going to do this now, but like I said, layer, new, you make a new solid. It's really simple, and uh, you can bring that in. Now, sometimes you can just change the color of the uh, solid to make different colored vignettes like here uh, sorry okay so here I'm just gonna turn this one off and then make a new solid and I'll make this one oh, hmm. yeah that looks about right eh, make darker okay I'll do this same thing then I'll just do the same thing with that drag it out and then change this to subtract, feather it a lot, and then turn the opacity way down. And now you can see we've got a blue vignette, and that'll add different effect. And you know, feel free to play around with that. So that's good. But I'm just gonna keep my black vignette. I don't want this one. Turn the black vignette on, and we have a really nice looking image from what we had before. And I personally enjoy this image a lot. Of course, there's always more work to be done, and feel free to use any color grading technique you feel is necessary. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching, and feel free to subscribe if you like the video, like, favorite, and comment. Also, follow me on Twitter, uh, and bye.